Hey, this is Greg with Medical Muscle, and I'm going to break down Term 3 at St. George University. I just finished, and I just wanted to share with you what I thought. So, I had a lot of expectations because I was told by previous students what to expect, and a lot of them were, <laughs> they didn't quite match with what I had heard. I, I, I felt like uh, it was a lot different than what I understood. First off, people say it's easier than other terms. I think, for the most part, it might be easy because you know how St. George and how medical school works at this point. Like, you kind of understand how you need to study. <laughs> I think it was about as hard as every other term. It was just different. The content's very different. Um, so, I mean, if you struggled with neuro, it's not neuro. It's totally different. If you struggle with, you know, the cardiopulmonary system, it's not that. This is very different. The first block. First block, it's broken into two blocks. The first block is uh, statistics and immunology more focused on bacteria and like how your body fights bacteria. Uh, with a little bit of like how doctors get paid and like how health insurance works, stuff like that. So that's the first block. Um, statistics, I actually found it pretty enjoyable. Maybe not enjoyable, but uh, it wasn't as challenging as I thought. If you've taken statistics before, there's a lot of the same concepts. So it's not it's not new. You know what the mean is, you know what the mode is, you know what the range is. You've probably heard that stuff when you're in elementary. Well, if you forgot, it'll be easy to remember. <laughs> Just understand the concepts of like false positive, true negative, true positive, th those kind of things. I didn't think they were super challenging. I felt like in that block, it was more uh, the immunology was the more challenging part because there's a lot of content. It's the same teaching style as previous blocks where it's just here's some information, you just gotta memorize it. There's no formula, it's just you just gotta memorize it. I mean, it's a lot, there's a lot. But what's nice with block one is that it kind of matches because there's not a lot of content in the stats. It's it's more like, you know, you have to know how to use these formulas, but there's not a lot of content. And then, uh, in the immunology, it's a lot of content, it's just straight memorization. So, do questions, obviously, you know, you gotta do those. Uh, there are certain things like, you know, you gotta memorize the uh, immunoglobins, know all those. Um, cytokines, memorize all those. But, you know, at this point, you should know how to memorize things. <laughs> um, but I think all in all, uh, it was, it was about at the same level as any other exam, you know, in reality. It just depends on you personally and what your experience prior to getting into this term. If you've had stats, it's gonna be a piece of cake. If you've had bacteriology, this is gonna be pretty easy. Not easy, but you know, easier. So block two. Block two, I have to say, was really challenging for me. <laughs> uh, more on the fact that there was a lot of information in the immunology that was just, again, just straight memorization. So there's a lot of information, there's a lot. But then it's paired with uh, uh, bioethics, which has very little content. It's how do you apply it, which made it very challenging. That's what made it actually, I think, more challenging than the, um, the immunology. So let's talk about uh, the immunology. For that section, it's viruses, fungi, and parasites. You're just given huge lists of viruses, you know, double-stranded, single-stranded, RNA, DNA, negative sense, positive sense. You need to memorize each one, and you need to memorize um, something special that the, any details they give about those things, and they are tested. That, that came up multiple times. So know the viruses, know the structure, know the know the specific example for each. Okay. Same thing with the fungus, same thing with the parasites. It's like you're gonna give, they're gonna give you that and they're gonna, they're gonna ask something specific. Is it flagellated? Was it, you know, whatever. Know the difference between each of these things. There's probably about 50 different uh, fungi, parasites, and viruses that you need to know. Um, but what's nice is it happens earlier in, the ter in that block, so you have time to memorize it. You have time, okay? Now, the bioethics. <laughs> They give you the companion. There's a bioethics companion that you're supposed to read um, to help you answer a lot of these questions. I read it. I think it did help me because I, 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 my brain was primed. I read it before the term had started. So my brain was primed. I kind of knew what 
what they wanted you to know. You have to memorize them the way that they teach it. There's certain key words, certain like vocabulary. You need to get the vocabulary right. When they say the, the five principles or the five elements of this or whatever, you need to be very, it's very specific. Okay, sometimes these words mean different things in different contents, but if they're asking the principles rather than the elements, you know, it's, it's, <laughs> it just didn't feel as concrete as previous blocks or any other test that I had taken. So a lot of these questions, when you get them, you'll get down to two. Both of them would be fine in a real life situation. They seem like it would be okay to say those things, but one was just a little better than the other. Um, so it's not as, it just didn't feel as concrete. You're gonna, you're gonna know what I mean when you get there. It's not very complicated. The concepts are, are not challenging. Um, some of it seems very straightforward, which I think can be dangerous. I think that's what also makes the bioethics hard is that because it's straightforward, some of the topics are very straightforward and kind of easy, like intuitive, like of course, you know, you wouldn't say certain things. You can get lazy. <laughs> and I think, I think I got a little lazy because I just didn't take it as seriously as it, as it was gonna be. Um, so please, you know, pay attention to it. Pay attention to all the lectures. Do your questions. Think about the question. Think about what is the absolute best answer. I know that's hard to say, uh, and it just, just takes practice. Uh, I have nothing else to say about it. It's, it's hard, it's hard. And of course, the biology, just memorize it. So I hope, um, <laughs> I hope this rant makes sense. Uh, that was my experience. Uh, it's a fast term. There's a lot of small groups. I think uh, I think if you have done well in previous terms, then I think you're gonna be fine in this term. It's, it's no different, it's the same. Um, so good luck out there and uh, kick some butt. <laughs>